Uh, OK, so we'll save that there. And then go to File, References, Xref Scene to open the Xref Scene dialog box. We'll go to Add. And in our project folder, there's a file called Vida Model. So we'll open that in. Close the dialog box. Uh, there we go, it's dropped it in. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much at the right height, where it ought to be, as it was done using the AutoCAD plans. I think you can see there are a few problems with it, though. The terrain is intersecting with the swimming pool and the patio, which, you know, in, in real life would be dug away, so that's pretty much what we've got to do with the model here as well. Um, I think I'm, I think this driveway is looking a bit, um, a little bit low, so we're gonna we're gonna try and um, sort of fix this as well. I think it's it's about half a meter too low there, so I've got I've got the spot height spot height's perhaps slightly wrong in order to get there. Um, but that's you know that's one of the useful things of this method is it it's harder to do it in AutoCAD and get it right than it is to do it in Max and get it right. Um, and the other thing we need to do is is trim away some of the landscape. Uh, from these steps that come down here. Um, it, it's a bit steep around the driveway, at the back of the driveway under the building here. Um, I think I'm probably going to leave that because I want to disguise that with some sort of rubble and rocks a bit later on anyway. Um, so uh, one of the really um, useful workflows I found when using XREF scenes is to make sure you use layers. Um, and I use layers a lot anyway because I, um, they bring in all the AutoCAD layers. Uh, and I've docked my layer manager up here in the um, in the main toolbar. If you don't, if you can't see it there, and you won't unless you've customised it, you'll have to go to Show UI and show your floating toolbars, and um, the layer manager will be floating around there somewhere. Um, and what I did in the scene with um, the villa in the house in, I, I put everything on a layer called Villa, so I can turn that off and on in this scene. Um, pretty quickly without having to go through the dialog box um, for the x scene manager um, which is uh, pretty handy I think so we need to basically um, unhide everything and uh, we're going to use these um, two AutoCAD shapes that will be merged in already in the top viewport uh, and we're going to use these to snap a cookie cutter shape out, uh, which we're going to use to um, subtract some of the uh, the landscape. So push it down basically, so it sits underneath um, the villa and the swimming pool and the patio and so on. Okay, so we'll go to line. Make sure our snaps are on here. And I'm going to just use it to draw an outline of. Actually, I want it to go across there. Sorry, that's a bit random, but we're going to change that now. I'm just going to drag this vertex up with my snaps. I've got my snaps on, and I'm also using the axis constraints toggle. So that one's going to come up to there. Um, I want that one to to sit there. Don't don't need that. Um, now let's just take the snaps off. I want this to sort of sit in, in the middle of the wall, so that's going to move to there. Now I need to make sure that none of the mesh slips over into these steps here. So I'm going to move that back there, and I'm going to do the same with that one, so that the mesh clears this step here. Um, so that's the first one with the house. Um, I didn't really like the way the driveway was working, so I'm going to unhide the road. Uh, instead of tracing, I'm actually just going to copy that again. So I'm just going to detach it. Call it drive again. Uh, there's, a, there's a road up here, so we need to do something with that, but. Um, that's basically going to be a rectangle. I'll 
I'll just make sure that the driveway meets that. Uh, I need to draw another another level that um, will stop the terrain from interfering with these steps in the pool. So again, top viewport, use my snaps. And I'm just going to draw an outline there. Close the spline. Let's do a bit of tweaking. So I want these to sit inside the walls. And these can actually slip underneath this level here, so we can just make sure those are sitting underneath. Okay, and then f we need to finally um, cut away uh, the terrain that's um, covering up these steps here. So I need to go to my layer manager again and unhide the villa. Choose line, and I've got my snaps. Uh, I've got my snaps on now. And I want to. I want it to follow these steps down here. So 3D snaps lets me follow that quite neatly. And then I'm going to. Um, in the top viewport, just line up that bottom vertex. I want that to line up to that point there. Choose that spline and shift move it across to that point there. I'm going to use cross section to join those two um, splines together. Um, and a surface modifier. If you just hide the villa, you see what that's done. choose this um, level here, turn off my snaps, right, so that's got to meet up pretty much with the top of that staircase part there, we're just going to check that in a minute, and put a face extrude on there, um, the same as there, put a face extrude on there, that's going to come up somewhere to, uh, about there to meet the bottom of the pool. Um, I did the driveway again. I'll just make sure that's a closed poly. Snaps on. A line across there. And weld those. Face extrude. There we go. See if I've forgotten anything. Just make sure that slips underneath. Just there. And we might have to just add another bit here to. Uh, fix where the drive meets the steps, but I want the I want the drive here to meet perhaps the bottom bottom steps there. So here and there, and then this this level here needs to sit just below the patio there, and the rest of the house we can see.
can do, uh, let's just do the pull first. Let's drag that up to sit just underneath the pull somewhere there. Hide the villa. 